So, it's finally here. The XTI 50. Hey? Yay! <laughs> it took a while. <laughs> it took a while. I'm going to open up with a, with a question for you. This could have been out a bit sooner, couldn't it? Well, it could have been out sooner, but we didn't want to compromise and we had such a great team behind us, including Doz and Jack Harris, doing a lot of field testing for us and it wasn't ready. So, no. yes, it could have gone out sooner, but no, it couldn't. No, it couldn't because this, this is having to compete in a no-compromise world. This is a world-dominating piece of kit. There's the aim, world-dominating. And with people like Dodds helping you to produce it, I think you're going to get there. Another question. When do you know it's time to produce another rifle to, to update what you've already done? So something triggered the production of this. You all got together and said, we're going to make another one. I think on the whole, the last rifle was the FTP. Yeah. And that kind of got a bit of a bad rep. Um, justified or unjustified, I don't know. Mm. But the whole aim of this particular product was that we wanted to create a piece of equipment that would enhance the shooter's experience. Yeah. And so right from the get-go, we involved the team in its development. And we didn't just involve our team in the development, no. we involved our international shooters as well. So we wanted to create a piece of equipment that was going to give our shooters the best advantage possible. How much input have people like Doz had? <laughs> oh How much goodness. have you had, Doz? Oh, honestly, the, the divorce time, let me tell you. I've really? Had, well, honestly, the, the odd text are too, not quite too hot in the morning, but uh, <laughs> oh, okay. What do you think of this design? What do you think of that? The two islands, the, yeah. the, the engineers at the yeah. arms, they back and forth with Jack and myself for over a year now, and we're on the and two or three years before that, but the, the last year has been the sort of fine tuning of the, the last yeah. prototype before we come to So the next question asks itself then, why would you get that involved with it? Why? You've got, you've got loads of stuff well, on. That's not really a very clever question. Yeah, well, no, I've it been, isn't. I've I been, know the answer to it. I've been fortunate enough to help design the gun that I want. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a perfect it's, opportunity. It's a privilege. How often you get an opportunity to help design something that will really influence and improve your shooting? And like I said, to me, and Jack and a lot of the guys that's been involved, that doesn't come along ever unless you pay and design it yourself. Yeah. And I'm brilliant. a working man, I'm a married man, that, that isn't happening. Yeah, brilliant. You told me earlier on, off camera, some little things that people wouldn't immediately notice. Explain the breach, explain the breach. That's, that was a brilliant little bit of idea, that. One, one of the really simple idea, when we're shooting sometimes, your pellets foul. You, yeah. you get a bit flimsy. Yeah, they get, get stuck under the stuck probe and all that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you're shaking them and stuff. And we were talking to the Allens about it. I said, oh, mate, we've got to do something about that. It's a really little thing, but it needs to be better. And he said, well, you're not on the clock. I said, yeah, we are. Yeah. We we're time shooting. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, what do you need? I said, well, I just want to, if I drop my pallet, it to go away. A couple of weeks later, we've got the prototype out. And that's all we've got is a little yeah. ramp in it. It's, it's simple, a little slope that makes honestly, it a little We're going to see it. But you just drop your pallet and it rolls away. You just put another one in and off you go. That's Don't brilliant. even think about it. it is is so I've been there. I've done that. Every, especially on the second shot. When you think hasn't. the time's running out and the pellet's lodged in there and you're shaking it about and you're getting more tense. Yeah. That will just stop it. <laughs> right, there's another little sort of unseen gadget on here. And it's that. That's the adjustable stripper, still air, whatever. Explain what that's all about, Doz. We had many an argument with Clay and the engineers because they, they didn't see the importance of it. Right. But after oh, hundreds, literally hundreds of tests of our club and showing them the difference in the group and by just simply adjusting the comb, they finally bought into it. And basically all it does, as the pellet leaves the, the crown of the barrel, yeah. the length of the it's quite, quite important how you adjust it, but as it leaves the crown of the barrel, it enters the small tube. Yeah. And then and basically makes a seal. A couple of milliseconds later, you get a massive the explosion of air. The air goes out the sides, the pellet leaves into still air. Brilliant. So it's not there's no turbulence, there's no yawing or nothing going on at all. It's just a nice clean pellet coming out the barrel. So ultimately what you've done is you've stripped the, the nit sort of all inaccuracy and yes. away from yeah. the pellet and let it fly on free. Yeah. And That's you can adjust it. it, it can go backwards and forwards according and forward. to the dimensions yeah. of the pellet. Right, another thing. It's not extended on here, and it should be. This is the most amazingly accommodating piece of kit. And uh, listen, we've got to come up with a better name, guys. You can't call that a hamster anymore. That's unfortunately, the name has been taken. I, I had the first hamster okay. in the world because it looked like a hamster. It was a block of wood yeah. that fitted under my rifle. And, and Richard Wellham of Air Masters came out and said, it's, look, it's a hamster. 
and he was even doing little hamster things with it. But that, that is a multi-adaptable oh. shooting platform. Again, you're wrong. Do you want me to explain to you what this is? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry this about has this. Changed, this has changed field target. That has changed field target? Very simply. Go I on. would build a course yeah. that would take me two hours to put a target 30 foot up a tree on ladders, hanging on the tree, you've done this. Oh with, yeah. Oh, hanging on, oh, and yeah. drills, a screwdriver, shouting and swearing at people and stuff like yeah. that. There's no point though you got that. No. Because it isn't an awkward shot anymore. So you've got you to support click, wherever. It, and it's, it's as simple as that. that it just it makes, it's almost made itself obsolete because you just, nobody's going to build courses like that anymore because everyone's going to have one of these. It just, that it, is, it, is, it is set and it's so easy and simple to use. It's I've seen how fast it yeah. is. And you use it on the fly as well. And you can oh yeah, yeah as, you, as you're working. The it's, beauty of it, as you can see, the groove along the stock. Uh, which it actually helps them. You see, it helps with, with your hand yeah. position. Now, on the opposite side, where the button is located to drop the hamster, as you just drop back, being a right hand shooter, just disengage with your thumb, click it, let go, and you're there. Move it a little bit so it locks in place, and you're done. When you're finished, just press them back in place. Really, really simple. Final question on this Is it finished? Are you confident with it? Is it world championship ready? I've had mine six months. Right. right. I've in wonderful Welsh Wales, with the rain, the sleet, the snow, and everything. Yeah. And the only thing I've changed on it, the trigger blade, I sanded it a little bit. Yeah. Because in this freezing cold, I could just feel a little bit more. My <laughs> that's and it. That's all I've done. Well, if it. that's all you've and changed, I can't. You've won something with it already, though. A couple of events, yeah. What just won the, the Welsh uh, showdown, which is you've got yeah. showdowns yeah. back and forth. Down. Yeah, I've done one quite a few events since myself and Jack Harris have one, and. Uh, you know, every competition we've been to, either one of us have won it. So, wonderful. And, yeah, wonderful. It's, it's been doing really well. Like that. So the confidence factor's there, then? Oh, that's for sure. Yeah, and you'll be back. So we've got the World Championships in South Africa. Yes. Coming up. You and Jack? Yes, yeah, yeah. Definitely? Definitely. So it'll handle... I'm not it'll going over any other reasons. You reckon it'll handle Africa? Easy. And it'll, in the Easy. end, you think Claire's going to get a wish it's going to dominate the world? I can't see... I'll put it this way, I can't see why it's not. This is solely down to the shooter now. It's yeah. simple. Even the trigger, the, you know, the old triggers, right, yeah. on the EV2s and the X and all the other guns, right? They were good, really good. I've been lucky enough to see inside these, they're just bigger. Pretty much the same principles, yeah. but bigger. So every adjustment is half. So the trigger's so much finer. Come from the manufacturer, I was like, I can't even touch that. I can't <laughs> really even touch that. Touch it, is, it, it is, you, there's nothing you can't adjust on it. I'll be surprised, well, I know the guys will come up with something, but. No. Sometimes they do it though because they want because to do it. Can. Yeah, because they want to do it. Right, there's, can't get a better intro than from a man like this who's used it and won with it. And we both think Claire's going to get her dream of world domination. Every single feature of this gun is brand new, from inside to outside. And I really can't do it justice because I'm not a technician. And I invite you to come to the factory, to speak to the Allens, to speak the, to the designer, the technicians, so you can fully appreciate and understand what's gone into this can product. I, will I get to look inside it? Will I get to see oh, yes. all the components? Absolutely. That, in the best possible terms, is a date. 